Hi, this is Steve with the Music Store. Sometimes your string instrument will get a little bit dirty and covered in spots or rosin mostly. Well, we want to be careful with what we use to actually clean that. So I'm going to show you the best product that we've got so far. This is the Sterling Violin Polish. As you can see, it's a whopping $3.95. And this bottle should outlast your grandchildren, pretty much. It lasts a long time, but we want to show you how to use it today. So what we do is we take just a little square of uh, paper towel and some of the polish. We've used this bottle in the shop for a long time. Just a little tiny dab will do you. Then take the instrument and go in circular motions with, with it. If you go up and down, you have the tendency to leave some scratches in the instrument that it can actually be seen. But if you do it in circles, it works really, really well. And as you can see, some of the dirt and grime and fingerprints and stuff like that immediately just start coming off to where you can actually see the difference in the shine from here versus where all the fingerprints are and the dirtiness here. But you keep going until all the solution is gone. And one little dab will do almost your entire back of the instrument. And usually the front or the top of the instrument where the strings and rosin are have a little bit more dirt and grime on them because of the rosin. So usually it'll take just a little bit more in those areas. We're going to use a different part of the cloth. That little dab here. I'll come right on in here. Same thing, got to stay in those circular motions. And right in these areas, be careful not to knock your bridge over. And they're a little bit more dirty. Now this stuff is not strong enough that it's going to lift your rods enough when it's really thick and cakey in the very first try. Anything that is strong enough to do that, it's also going to take the finish right off your instrument, which would be no good at all. So unfortunately, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. Now we can do the same thing on the sides of the instruments, or the bounce of the instruments. A little bit of polish, try to keep it in a circular motion, and work your way all the way around your bounce. And there you have it. After you get the instrument all polished up, the instrument looks a lot cleaner and is free of rosin. And it's really just a couple minutes worth of work as long as you're using the right stuff, which you can find over at the music store here in St. George.